Hello, my name is Kevin Clay, and I am one of the Lean Six Sigma instructors here at Six Sigma Development Solutions. Today, I am going to give you a brief introduction to, uh, uh, to multiple regression using Minitabs version 20. Uh, multiple regression is a statistical uh, analysis, a hypothesis test, to help us to understand if there is a relationship between multiple X's and a Y, all right? Those X's and the Y uh, have to be continuous, all right? Uh, so again, it's comparing whether there is a relationship or correlation between those X's and that Y. Uh, we are going to use uh, a data set. This data set comes from a fictitious project uh, that we provide to our green belts and the black belts. Uh, this, this project is basically uh, set in a scenario uh, where a company called Peanut Butter and Jelly Inc., PBJ Inc., is uh, they, they make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for uh, school kids all over the continental U.S. Uh, and their cost uh, presently to produce the, the sandwiches is higher than what they predicted the cost to be. So therefore there has been a uh, bottom line detriment. So uh, we're in the analyze phase uh, and we are doing a multiple regression because we have this practical question that uh, we think site and humidity uh, in our facilities, uh, in, in different facilities that the humidity has an effect uh, on the daily defects being created. So uh, to do this multiple regression, we're, we are going to go to uh, the assistant in the menu. The assistant uh, really kind of takes the heavy lifting uh, in performing statistical analysis. It takes away from us. It, it really makes it a lot easier. Uh, while somewhat limited, limited um, a lot of the analysis, it really uh, you know, makes it simple for us. So we teach this to uh, to our green belts how to use most uh, most of the tools on the assistant. Uh, so we're going to go down to the regression. Uh, in regression, uh, we are going to have the choice between uh, multiple regression or a multiple regression, and then optimizing that regression to give us the best response. All right, so I'm gonna take this a little farther and show you how to, to not only do the regression, but actually how to optimize response as well. Uh, and both of those are encompassed, encompassed within this tool, optimized responses, or optimized response, sorry. Uh, as you can see, I've already filled the tool out. Uh, our response variable, uh, in this case is daily defects. We want to see if there is a, uh, if there is some relationship between humidity, which is one of our X's, uh, and site, which is our other X, all right? And be, we, we put site in the categorical variable because uh, it's an attribute data set. It, it's not a continuous data set. So you can have at least one attribute data set in here. Now, I only have one continuous data set, but you know, if, if I would have defined more, I could put, uh, could put those in there as well. Uh, and we are looking uh, as a response, uh, we want to be able to minimize the response, meaning we want to be able to minimize daily defects. Uh, we don't wanna maximize it and we don't wanna achieve a target value. In this case, we're looking to minimize defects. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, or click OK. All right, uh, we'll get a number of very informative graphs. We'll move down to the bottom. Uh, before I go into these graphs, I'm going to skip a few graphs. Uh, the multiple regression, the, this tool is really a black belt tool. Um, and and uh, we we teach this in, in a lot more detail in our uh, black belt course, but in our green belt course, uh, we, we kind of give a broad overview of it just to 
help our green belts to understand, you know, that there are more significant tools and there, there's a lot more for us to learn. So uh, this introduction is really kind of uh, for green belt uh, tools. Uh, so the report card is, is a, a graph, you know, in the series of graphs, so the multiple regression that kind of gives us some understanding about our data uh, and whether our data is good enough to, to be able to kind of trust the model that we're looking at in this multiple regression. So it uh, gives us some information about, you know, the amount of data. It, it gives us a warning about um, uh, the fact that we have some large residuals, All right? And so these large residuals are, are gonna show up in a, another graph I'm gonna show you. And these residuals, large residuals, uh, as well as the, there's some other um, uh, abnormal data that we're gonna, we're gonna be able to see. Uh, these we call signals. We teach our green belts, we call them signals. Uh, and we call them that because this is kind of a sign to help us uh, understand the, these red dots. Uh, these might be caused by, it could be caused by the problem in our process that we as green belts are trying to solve. All right, so uh, we, th those are very important to us. Um, there's also, you'll see here under normality, uh, you'll see the, the green box with the check mark. This basically says because we have 15 data points um, that normality uh, is not an issue, All right? So uh, this basically, excuse me, says that we have normal data. Okay, so we come up to our prediction and optimization report. This is specific to uh, the, the tool that we, uh, we chose, Optimize Response, All right? So this is not in the um, multiple regression uh, tool. It, it's, it's in the Optimize Response tool, it's an add-in graph. So this tells us uh, that number one, you'll see we've only got an optimal setting for humidity. We don't have it for the, uh, the site. All right, so the site uh, doesn't show up under the uh, optimal setting. Well, what that means is uh, site mini tab uh, uh, in its calculations found that that site wasn't, didn't really have a bearing on, um, uh, on the amount of defects. It's really just humidity, but it's better for us to know that. Uh, and it also says the optimal setting for humidity uh, is here, 40.56, uh, I can't see that completely. It's uh, kind of small, let's blow it up here, uh, 40.5689. So you'll, you'll see that uh, the, right here, okay, yeah. Right around in here. All right, so that's my optimal setting for uh, humidity in order to get a, a, the minimum amount of defects. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, we're gonna skip the model building reports and we'll go up to the diagnostic report. Uh, and, and here's really where you wanna uh, look at uh, how the data is, it, how it's formatted, what it looks like, all right? Uh, and you have these uh, large residuals uh, and unusual X values. In this case, you only, well, I'm sorry, you do. You have unusual, uh, um, large residuals uh, and unusual X values, both in the uh, red dots and uh, the blue. All right, so these, again, these are signals. These are things that, that uh, you know, we want to look at to, to understand um, what, what is causing those, those anomalies. Okay, so we move on to our summary report. Uh, our summary report says uh, in the upper left-hand corner, this uh, tells us, is there a relationship between Y and the X variables? Uh, again, we, we have two X variables. 
uh, and the p-value is 0 0.001. Uh, and with a confidence interval or a level of 95%, uh, this, this p-value tells us that there is a difference. Now, we, we can't necessarily trust just that. We, we need to look at uh, something else, and it, this is the percent of variation explained by, them, by the model. So you'll see here, and, and I'm trying, uh, trying to scroll around here without having these boxes pop up and kind of get in the way. Uh, we have an R squared of uh, 86.25. All right, so what, what this basically says is that 86.25% of the variation in the Y, okay, and the Y again being daily defects, can be explained by the regression model, all right? And the regression model is made up of two Xs, site and humidity. So those, those two variables right there uh, help you or help us to understand 86.25% of the variation uh, in the data. Now, that means that we still have a certain percentage of, of um, explanation that it's it's unexplained all right either we haven't included an x in our data in our case we've included all the x's in our data but if we had other x's um we could include those into the x's it, it might be um uh, we have humidity humidity we went we might have barometric pressure um, we, we could have, you know, a slew of X's and all those X's together could have more, to, more of an effect. Uh, it, it could have less of, of an effect. So um, this is just basically telling us the strength of the two X's when it comes to their correlation to the amount uh, of defects being produced. All right, well, uh, I hope that you have uh, gained a little bit more knowledge on this uh, multiple regression tool. Uh, again, my name is Kevin Clay, and I'm one of the Lean Six Sigma instructors here at Six Sigma Development Solutions Incorporated. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to uh, uh, contact me. My email address is kclay at sigsigmadsi.com. Uh, I will put uh, my contact information uh, down in the information below of this YouTube video. So uh, I hope that you have a wonderful day and thank you.